So next we have Ricky Chilcott and he's going to speak about losing 50 kilos on a LCHF lifestyle. Hi everyone, uh, Ricky Chilcott. I live a little bit north here, of, uh, north of Brisbane at Caboolture. Um, my problems uh, with weight uh, started when my mother, when I was a toddler, took me to the local GP and asked how can I get him to eat food because I wasn't interested in eating anything. Uh, his advice was to give him uh, some chocolate Nesquik in some milk three times a day and uh, he'll grow out of it. So I grew up and grew right out of it. <laughs> and uh, it led to me being uh, over 140 kilos in January in, uh, in, uh, last year. Just after I've uh, come along and seen Jimmy. Uh, um, so I'd given up. I actually didn't know exactly how much I weighed. I, I did weigh myself and I got to about 140 kilos and stopped weighing myself. So um, I'd given up. I was eating lots of pizza and all that sort of stuff. So, so after uh, you know, trying the uh, low-carb, high, uh, high-fat diet, I ended up uh, losing a ton of weight. Um, so basically, this is my story of what I've done. Um, shocked my family by posting pictures like my new face on Facebook. Um, some of them said, "Who's that person?" So it's quite a quite a big difference could be made by uh, by losing weight. So here's some other pictures of me in the various stages. Um, two Movem different Movembers there, uh, two different years. So you can see the difference in the face. Um, the middle one where I was fishing, that was uh, August last year. Um, and so yeah, the, the first Movember with the small moustache, that was, uh, that was in uh, 2012. And um, so I went bigger on the moustache to, for the second one. Uh, one of my community activities is uh, working uh, with army cadets. So um, the, uh, last year, I wasn't a really good role model. Um, my son was an army cadet, so I, as a parent, you go along and you get volunteered to do stuff and eventually end up running the place. So, um, but yeah, I, had, I, I was a, supposed to be a role model for young people and uh, you know, I wasn't a very good one. But this year, um, I look a lot better. So these are the sort of things I ate. Um, uh, not very much on the protein because you've got to moderate your protein. I found that over 100 grams of protein per day was probably a little bit too much. Um, uh, so in the thing that looks like mashed potatoes is actually broccoli, uh, uh, cauliflower. It's all mashed up. So uh, and uh, the broccoli there. And to make it taste really great, I'll put lots of Tabasco sauce on it. <laughs> so I'm not a much of a cook, so I like to keep it simple. So it's pretty much the same sort of meals all the time. I found that was the best way to, to manage my, my, my meals and my cravings. So I, I, I developed my own formula, the one that worked for me, and I stick to it. So it's generally maybe some resoles, a bit of steak, um, maybe some chicken, um, and usually broccoli and cauliflower. Breakfast, there's always bacon and eggs. So for a couple of years now, I've been eating bacon and eggs for breakfast, never miss it. And it does me until lunchtime, it's great. Uh, occasionally I put a bit of avocado in it if I want to boost the fat content. And I always cook it in either butter or, or, or coconut oil. The one on the right is actually um, probably about three Lots of bacon and eggs, so it wasn't just for me. <laughs> so usually I find about two to three eggs and run rash of bacon is, is, is enough protein. Now, um, I like curries and I used to all have lots of rice. So um, what I ended up doing was uh, just steaming the cauliflower, like half a cauliflower, and just mash it up with the, um, with the, vet, uh, the a mashed potato masher, and I use that as the base to put my uh, nice curries on. So the curries are, um, are usually all cooked with um, coconut oil, a bit of chicken, you know, chuck in a bit of curry paste, and and uh, that's about it. I fly, I sometimes put a bit of uh, coconut milk in it as well. Uh, the one on the left, 
that's got a, a pile of uh, silver beet or kale. I always chuck in like, you know, big, gigantic, big piles of it and it steams down to nothing and you get, it's beautiful. Okay, for treats, I love pizza. And the pizza on the left here is a one made on a cauliflower base. So that's half a cauliflower and, uh, and then just uh, mushrooms and all that sort of stuff, a bit of meat and lots of mozzarella cheese. And you can't get a better way to eat half a cauliflower, I reckon. <laughs> and of course, when you, you're feeling down and you want a bit of uh, sweet you know, dessert, you can't go wrong with some uh, raspberry jelly, low calorie, and some cream. So to be able to do it, you need to keep track of your, your ketones as well as your blood sugar. Um, after seeing what Jimmy had been doing, I went and got out one of these Optimum Freestyles and, uh, and uh, tracked my uh, blood ketones uh, with the uh, hard to get sometimes uh, beta ketone strips. And uh, for the first uh, three months, I probably done it twice a day. So I keep track of them, uh, keep track of both of them. And as I, I try different foods, I, uh, I adapted my what worked for me by using that. So I'm pretty much of a, a goal setter. So once I uh, got below 100 kilos, I decided I was going to uh, do something I thought was always a torture, and that was run. So I started the Couch to 5K program, and in March I did my first 5K on the beach at Bribey Island, and I got 42 minutes. So I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the next month, um, I did it in 37 minutes, and the month after, 32 minutes, and I, I haven't done another 5K since, but uh, I've been doing 2.5Ks and some other stuff. Uh, getting faster. So hopefully, maybe next weekend, there's another uh, 4K run with the local running club I joined. I might have a go at that and see how I go. Um, my main goal has been along the way is to perhaps one day join the Army Reserve. That's me in my suit on my way to the, uh, to the interview. Uh, and at the moment, I'm waiting for an enrolment, uh, enlistment date for us to be a rifleman for the Army Reserve. So at 47 years old, I'm doing something that I've always never, never, no one had ever dreamed I'd be capable of doing two years ago. So here's the graph of my weight loss. As you can see, it started pretty quick. I didn't really take uh, measure my weight, uh, my weight until I was about around 135 kilos or so. So um, from there, I've lost 50, I'd lost 52 kilos by July this year. Um, it was pretty steady. Uh, very quick at the beginning and it tapered out. When I started doing exercise, it tapered out and slowed down. So uh, if you want fast weight, weight loss, I think forget about the exercise. <laughs> Just concentrate on your diet and then when you want to uh, start getting active, then it'll slow down here, I think. Because you you'll crave more protein. So, anyway, thanks very much for that. Um, <laughs>